Hi everyone! In this lesson, magpo-format tayo ng text and mag adjust ng margin. So, sa text formatting, ito yung ating mga gagawin. We are going to change the font type, size, and color. We are going to adjust the line spacing, the emphasis of words or text by using bold, italic, and underlined. Then, alignment ng text natin. Then, i-apply din natin yung change case. Or yung pagpapalit uh, ng capitalization ng selected text. And then, i-apply natin yung bullets or numbering. Okay. So, first, adjust natin yung text. So, paano ba mag-change ng font? Of course, unang-una, we need to highlight the text first. So, pwedeng kung buong document, select all na lang natin. So, press Ctrl A. And then, go to Home tab. And then, select natin yung font type na gagamitin natin by pressing the arrow down dito sa font and then piliin natin kung ano yung gusto nating font style na gagamitin so usually ang ginagamit natin para sa mga uh, formal document or for example sa research or thesis or anything any document, syempre dapat yung nababasa. Hindi masyadong malaki, hindi masyadong maliit na font. So, pwedeng Calibre, Cambria, Arial, or yung Times New Roman. So, kung alam na kung anong font type ang gagamitin, pwede na lang natin dito type. So, for example, let's say for example, yung Times New Roman. Yan. Okay. And then, next is palitan naman natin yung font size. So, ano ba yung standard font size pag dating sa mga document? Highlight ulit natin. Then, change natin ng uh, yung font size dito sa home tab again select natin yung font size na gusto natin pero kadalasan 12 or 11 dapat yung font size ng document yung body ng document natin so pwedeng dito or pwedeng gamitin tong grow and uh, or shrink font so, pag ginamit natin ito, mag increase siya ng 1 point per click. So, let me try natin. Or, bawasan natin yung text size. Okay. And, next is color. So, usually naman sa document, Ang ginagamit lang na color is, ang default color is black. So, uh, bihira tayo makakita ng document na may ibang color. Pero if you want to change the color of your text, so just select the uh, part. Kung ano yung gusto nating palitan na color and then go to font color. Then, select natin yung gusto nating colors of font. Basta make sure na readable pa din ang text. So, kaya tayo nagpo-format o kaya natin pinu-format ang ating document is para maging presentable and readable yung content ng document natin. O, mas madaling maintindihan. Okay. Next is, adjust natin yung line spacing. So, papano palitan ng line spacing? 
again highlight natin yung buong document and then pwede tayong pumunta dito sa line and paragraph spacing so kung gusto nating 1.5 yung, yung line spacing or double space and dito lang si select or pwede right click and go to paragraph o, paano ba na bang gusto nating spacing ng ating uh, text single spacing dikit dikit lang uh, 1.5 or double so let's say uh, double spacing tayo and then pwede din natin i-adjust yung before and after ng each paragraph natin. So, dito yun i-adjust. So, kung hindi natin alam kung ilang point, so, lagay lang natin dito after, after na lang tayo mag uh, set Lagay natin ng auto. So, uh, dapat kasi mas malaki yung space ng uh, in between ng paragraph. So, click natin yung OK. Para makita natin kung anong tsura. So, ganito dapat ang spacing or line spacing. So, mas malaki yung space in between ng each uh, paragraph. So, ito ay another paragraph. And ito ay after ng introduction. Okay, so ganyan lang mag-adjust ng line spacing. Next is yung emphasis ng text by using bold, italic, or underline. So, para mas madaling makita or mas madaling maintindihan yung ating document. So, kailangan naka-emphasize yung mga importanting words. Let's say, yung mga title ng bawat uh, bawat part ng document natin. Let's say, this one, yung introduction. So, gawin natin bold. And then, yung dito sa, for example, this one, pwede natin gawing naka-bold and naka-underline. Pwede rin natin uh, bold ito para mas madaling makita so select natin sa isa so paano ba sinisilect just press control and then highlight nyo lang i-hold nyo lang yung control key then, i-highlight nyo yung part kung alin yung gusto nyo baguhin. Para sabay-sabay silang ma-change. Okay. O, oh, meron pa isang natira. Okay. So, yun yung purpose ng um, bold, italic, and underline pang emphasize ng mga words. And then, yung alignment naman ng text natin. So, ito yung mga alignment ng text. Either left align, center, align right, and justify. Okay, so let's say, itong introduction natin, lagay natin sa center, or pwede Balik natin. Pwede. Uh, lagay natin yung cursor dito sa una. And then, just press Ctrl E to just to um, para ma-center yung text. Ctrl J is para ma-justify naman. So, apply natin dito. Highlight natin tong part na to. And then, press Ctrl J to justify the text. Ayan, naka-justify siya. 
So, pwede rin natin i-justify itong ibang paragraph. This one, pwede natin i-indent. Okay. Para mas maganda yung format. Next is change case or capitalization of uh, a text. So, pag uh, nagkamali tayo ng type, for, let's say, for example, gusto natin itong gawing all cups. Kaya lang na type na natin. So, hindi na natin kailangan i-delete. So, pwede natin gamitin yung um, capitalization. Itong change case. Sana bang gusto natin gawin? Upper case lahat. Yan. Or, pwede rin yung shortcut key, shift F3. Yan. Shift F3. Click nyo lang kung ano yung gusto nyong uh, capitalization ng text. Okay. Pero kung nakalimutan yung shortcut key, so at eto lang siya. Change case. Next is apply naman natin yung list. So, ano ba yung uh, pwede natin pag-applyan ng list? So, pwede dito sa characteristics of computer. So, pwede natin applyan to ng bullets and numbering. So, highlight ulit natin tong part kung saan natin gustong lagyan ng bullets. Pwede natin gamitin uh, gamitin ng bullets or numbering sa mamimili lang tayo ng bullet na gagamitin natin. So, let's say this one. Yan. So, para maganda na yung presentation and uh, mas naiintindihan na yung ating uh, content. Then, last but not the least is yung margin. Pag gusto natin i-bookbind yung document, ay yung uh, pinrint natin, so dapat mas malaki yung space dito sa left side. Okay, so let's say adjust natin yung margin. Uh, yung left side, dapat i-1.5 inch. Then, top, bottom, and right side is 1 inch. Okay, so, paano ba mag-adjust ng margin? So, go to page layout. And then, select nyo yung margins. So, ang uh, ginagawa ko is, dito na lang ako pumunta sa custom margin. Or, kung uh, gusto nyo namang select yung normal, itong normal, 2.54 lahat ng uh, top, bottom, left, and right. So, ibig sabihin, tigwa 1 inch. 2.54 equals to 1 inch. So, since wala dyan uh, yung gusto nating margin, mag-set na lang tayo. So, ang top is 2.54, 1 inch. Pwede nating ilagay na 1 inch lang. And then, left is, ang masabi natin, 1.5 inch. Bottom is 1 inch and right is 1 inch. Nasabi nga natin kanina, 2.54 cm is equals to 1 inch. Click OK. So, ayan. Mas malaki na yung left side compared dito sa right side. Okay, so uh, that's all for this video. Thank you for listening.